Hello. Uh, as uh, you can see, my work I uh, deal with uh, Dominican identity. We have, uh, like most of the Caribbean country, we are a mixture of race, but we have a, a small, big problem: is that uh, our I, our basis of our identity is still in 2007 based on the Greco-Latin beauty. So uh, everything which looks like white is beautiful, everything which looks like black is not beautiful. And therefore uh, my work uh, uh, faces that, the identity. I start with that, uh, like if you look yourself in the mirror and uh, you don't like yourself the way you really are, then you have a problem. And that affects all aspects of society. Therefore, I deal with uh, blackness, uh, uh, dressing, that's uh, what we are, embrace it, and uh, recognize that we are. Uh, therefore, I deal that with identity. Uh, I have dealt with it uh, for many years and still have to address it because even today, we haven't faced that problem. These are the interiors of uh, the Dominican uh, house, poor people, that they decorate their houses uh, with whatever they feel very colorful. And uh, I deal with uh, collage. Uh, these are composed of three different photographs without Photoshop. And I put them together as one. So the Photoshop is done in the brain when you look at it. Uh, in a way of emphasizing the uh, lack of opportunity the artists have for uh, Photoshop, electricity, and uh, uh, social security. Uh, uh, therefore, that's uh, how I address uh, my work. Uh, <coughs> I use a lot of emphasis in color because uh, that's the way uh, we, which are a mixture uh, of the race. Also, the three photograph is a metaphor of the different races that compound, conform the uh, Dominican Republic and the rest of the Caribbean. Does anyone have any questions? Or, uh, how do you uh, find those subjects that you photograph? Well, I go random, I go to their houses. Uh, these people, I've uh, never seen them. I knock on the door, I ask them. Uh, they get surprised, you know, because they do not consider their, their house as uh, photogenic. But I told them, you know, that I like them, their house to be photographed. So I negotiate with them, you know, and uh, finally they like that, to have their house photographed. I enter their house, their bedroom, their kitchen, everything and I start taking photographs. Then, uh, with the photograph printing is small, I do the collage at home, you know, and then I assemble another photograph, which is uh, the final result. How long have you been uh, working with this theme, with this idea? Well, I spent like uh, three years uh, working uh, with a photograph, uh, with this theme, you know. Uh, before I work with other different subjects, but everything has to do deal with the uh, Dominicanness, because I want to uh, us to like ourselves uh, the way we are. And by since photograph is such a democratic uh, tool, you know, uh, people can relate them and see themselves. Uh, in their work and start to reflect in why this guy is having a photograph of me. I'm ugly, but this guy is taking a photograph and they see it in the museum. So they start questioning themselves. Whatever they have been traditionally being said that they are ugliness, then come this person having their photograph. So there's something, you know, it's a like, little like, like grain of saying that I'm putting in this whole society so people start a question, you know, that they are not as ugly as traditionally uh, have been uh, said to. Are you the voice of this or do you have other people who are now? Yes, we do have, but not as many as uh, 
uh, I wanted to, to be, you know. Uh, people, uh, that's, that's a, a good question because people don't like what I'm doing because they see my work as ugly. It's, in, doesn't, it's cast in the establishment, uh, beautiful landscape of the Caribbean, a stereotype, beautiful white people, you know, as they project themselves. Uh, so people think, uh, even artists, that this is not an issue no more. Uh, they think that we overcome that, but really not, you know. Uh, if you're a white Anglo-Saxon, you have more opportunity to be accepted in the Dominican society than you, if you're a black, even today. If, for instance, I uh, uh, marry a black, well-educated, a good manner, a woman, they say that I'm going backward. If I marry, even today, I marry a blonde, illiterate, beautiful, not beautiful, blonde, blue-eyed woman, you know, say, oh wow, Bolivia have going to reach a level in the Dominican society. So that's a, 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 a still an issue, you know. Do you have many opportunities to show your work or discuss these issues within uh, Dominican society, or? Uh, yes, there, there are events uh, that you can uh, show. Uh, we have museum, and uh, yes, yes, uh, we have uh, uh, opportunities, you know, I think so. Is the reaction, what's the reaction like? Is it when you've been describing that it's ugly or people start to reconsider? Well, people uh, think, uh, uh, why I'm wasting my time in those such a uh, poor neighborhood? Why do I, I don't photograph high society? Why I don't photograph why more beautiful people? Why I don't know photograph beautiful landscape, having so many beautiful beaches, you know? That, that, that's the idea, to start questioning the, the, the society. Because of, uh, in order to face it where you have to like yourself, and that's the only way through uh, this means that people can uh, become a better human being. Because if you don't like yourself, that affects all aspects of society. It's not as simple as the color of the skin. You know, it's something as uh, the identity, which affects all aspects of society. Well, in the formal fine arts, um, the atmosphere, is, are you able to communicate this kind of message? Are fine arts students in the Dominican Republic or Latin America, are you able to introduce them to this, these notions of this kind of aesthetic? They can't have just... Yes, yes. I, I, have, uh, I teach uh, creative photography at the Santo Domingo Museum of Modern Art. Creative Photography 1, 2, and 3, okay? I also had a radio show every once in a while, and every time I have the opportunity, I address this point as a very important issue in the Dominican society. And I think I put a small grain to uh, have more conscience about our identity. Because I, I wish we, we, there's some example that I can put uh, like in Mexico and Brazil, you know, for an artist we have to struggle so much if a contemporary artist, you know, because this, this is not a very likable theme. Uh, we are accustomed to the more not questioning, peaceful theme that do not question yourself. Because I not only address the, the, the uh, racial issue, now I address the ecological issue with some other subjects which are very transcendental. Uh, uh, that we do not uh, address, we don't take into consideration. That uh, it's incredible. One of the things that impressed me more, and uh, when I uh, got here, although I know, you know, is when I saw I'm standing here uh, near here in Brooklyn. Is all the garbage recycled according to uh, uh, bottle and things like that? You know, that we still. Uh, I'm afraid to say, you know, we throw our garbage uh, elsewhere, you know. And I was talking to some other guy from the uh, uh, Caribbean, you know, and that uh, happened uh, elsewhere. And, and that's part of the, the education and, and conscience awareness that, uh, that I want to address uh, throughout uh, uh, my work. What are you working on now? What kind of new work? Well, I'm working on uh, ecology, uh, garbage, and I'm working in this subject we have, it's called animal print, 
which are ideally mixing the animal skin with the human skin and uh, have to do a little bit with Kafka metamorphosis and things like that. Uh, seeing the, 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 uh, well, when you throw your garbage out of your window, you're behaving like an animal. When you don't protect your environment, you're behaving like an animal. There's so many similitudes between the human being and the animal, you know. And uh, well, there's a, a saying that the only animal which makes the same mistake twice is the human being. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know, it's funny that uh, they say that animals do live according to their environmental rules because instinctively they know that, but because we use our brains so much, we don't. So actually, they do that much more than we do. <laughs> they protect the environment. Of course, them. of course, because it was the. Uh, a warming up of the ocean, you know, we had a, we we're going to make an artificial island right in front of our beautiful Malecon, which is the sea view of the city, and uh, so on. We are overcrowding the, the the beaches, you know, and making private out of public places. And it's like Raquel said, you know, it's, it's incredible. We're going uh, backward. I I saw, but today I wasn't going to be addressing uh, as an artist this. Subject because it's so uh, obviously uh, nowadays, you know, that we have to deal with it. Uh, we're having a metro mail where we don't have the basic educational level, social security, we don't have the energy, and, and things like that. It's something absurd uh, that nowadays we have to, as an artist, you know, we have to address that to make uh, uh, government society aware of the basic. That's why this work, uh, uh, according, is like a non-Photoshop work, because not many artists have access to internet, uh, energy, and things like that. And uh, it's like a half-finished work, like a badly done, because I, I could have done like by Photoshop, you know, making this look like a one photograph, very simple, you know. But uh, I address it uh, in that way to put an emphasis on the uh, basic thing we still have to, to deal with as an artist. Any other questions or comments? Anything else you want to add? <laughs> no, I said that uh, I think uh, the, the, for me, the artist is the more important person in a society. That 50 years from that, we're not going to talk about any politician and so on. We're going to talk about artists which are, are conscious of their society. Uh, are wary about the problem of the society and address it in a contemporary uh, way to communicate what's, uh, what's the problem, you know. And that uh, the Caribbean themselves, you know, is uh, a place where it's taking place uh, new things uh, with uh, uh, new eyes and uh, the art world and everything have to reconsider it the way it address the, the contemporary art throughout the eye of the Caribbean. You have to get through our skin first to understand our situation, you know, like to melody that spent a couple of years getting inside and learning about ourselves, you know, in order to understand us. And, and uh, because we, we work by our own rules, that's what I think, you know, uh, because we have so many basic problems, you know. That, uh, to address if we don't have time to, to think else, elsewhere, every other thing.